Isaiah chapter 63, verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Chodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into Yahweh Shai and his army. Okay? Yahweh Shai and his army of angels. All right? He has a huge army, man. And when he comes down here, he's going to show the world, okay, his power, the glory that Yahweh gave him. Okay? And the reason why I started at Isaiah 63, verse 4, is because this vengeance, this moment, this day is in his heart. Let's read it again. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Okay, so Yahweh Shah is up there. He don't know the exact day. Okay, not even the angels. Only Yahweh knows the day. Okay, but Yahweh Shah is up there being patient, thinking, meditating about the day he's going to come down here and get busy with that army. Okay, now, let's prove that this army is epically huge and epically big. Okay, we don't know the number, but the scriptures give us an idea. All right, let's go to Revelation chapter 5, start at verse 11. It says, And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. You hear that? 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Now, when you do 10,000 times 10,000, that equals 100 million. Think about that. It equals 100 million. <laughs> so right there, you have 100 million angels. If you did 100 million times 10,000 again, because it says 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, if you did it again, you would get a trillion. Okay? And you would have to keep going according to this. So ain't no number that we know of. It's not given to us to know the number. But this is written down, so when we read it, we like, wow, dang. You know, when you start doing the math, what we do have, okay? That's a lot of angels, man. And one angel, and I mean one angel, could destroy the whole earth, okay? So imagine hundreds of millions, billions, trillions of angels <laughs> with that power, okay? Now let's go to verse 12 saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength. Right, strength. This army has great strength, man, and honor and glory and blessings. Okay, so the angels, man, are ready to serve Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, within that order. They're ready to get busy. They're ready to come down here, man. Okay, by Yahweh's order. Because Yahweh Shai can't come down here until Yahweh tell him to come down here. Because he don't know the day. That power is kept with Yahweh, man. All right? Think about that. Now let's go to John chapter 5, verse 22. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Right, man. Okay? He committed all judgment to Yahweh Shai. Even though Yahweh Shai don't know the day. But he still committed all judgment to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And Yahweh Shai is going to carry out that judgment with his army, with a great army. All right? I just broke it down. Okay? 10,000 times 10,000, even thousands of thousands. Okay? That's without number, man. Trillions and trillions. We don't know the number, <laughs> but we know it's big time. Okay? And like I said, one angel could destroy the earth. One angel could destroy Esau's army, the other nation's army, and wear their ass out. One angel could do that. Now, when you go to Psalm 68, verse 17, the chariots of Yahweh Bashim are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. Right, he's among them, giving them the orders, okay, under his authority, okay, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Right, man, he's waiting, man. Okay, the vengeance is in his heart, okay? He's going to come down here and give all the orders, man, to all the angels, okay, to Michael, which I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay, <laughs> they all waiting at the end of the day to get busy. Now let's go back to John chapter 5. We're going to jump to verse 27. And have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the son of man. So there you go. He's given him authority, man. So all those angels are under Yahweh Shad's authority. All right, talk about power. That's power right there. That's big time power. 
Now from there, let's go to Revelation chapter 12, starting at verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. Right, man. Okay. They fought against Esau. Okay. All of Esau military. The EU, NATO, they militaries. Okay. And the other nation militaries. Okay. They're going to fight against all of them. But predominantly Esau, man. Proud ass Esau. Because though he's going to be scared, he's still going to fight. Like it says in the scriptures in 2nd Edges 13 chapter. Okay, let's read it again. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. Okay, so Michael being under Yahweh Shai with an order. Okay, in heaven. All right. He's giving Michael orders to give the other angels orders. Okay, to come down here and get busy. Now they all coming down here. Yahweh Shai come down here too, man. Okay, but this is our army, man. <laughs> okay, in heaven. Okay, and they have order. That's the point I'm making. Verse 8. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, talking about Esau, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out unto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Right, man. They got destroyed. Okay. They went up there, tried to fight, and got destroyed, man. It was no match. It was no match. All right? They have carnal power, but they fighting against spiritual power. You can't beat that with carnal power. It's impossible. But Esau so proud. Okay, talks about his head has reached into the clouds, man. Okay, he's very prideful. He going to try it anyway, like a dummy. And lose utterly. All right? Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before Yahweh Bashim Shai day and night and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have a short time. Right. And they know right now they have a short time. Okay. They know they have a short time. All right. So they're going to move fast. They're moving fast now. And they're going to move with great wrath, man. It's about to get crazy. But once they do that, Yahweh Shai, okay, along with Michael and him and the rest of the angels, the army, okay, they're going to come down here. Let's go to Daniel chapter 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince was standing for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book right man okay so Michael gonna come down here along with your house shy and the rest of the angels man okay and like I read hundreds of millions of millions because when you read Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 Okay, it said, every eye shall see him. Every eye. Okay, all kindreds, all nations. Okay, and the world is big. The earth is huge. Okay? And what it makes me think about, man, when you think about the angels, that many angels up there, okay, around the throne of the Most High, man, it has to be huge up there, man. That's how you know when he say, the earth is my footstool, what house can you build for me? Man, it's huge up there, man. Okay, beyond the earth... Well, they dwell out the heavens, it's beyond, 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 beyond the earth. The earth is like a crumb compared to the Most High's throne, okay? And where they dwell at up there. Just want to make that point, all right? Now, from there, let's go to Revelation chapter 19, starting at verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. I'm talking about Yahweh Shai, okay? I'm talking about the chariot, Yahweh Shai's chariot. And in righteousness, he do judge and make war. Right, man. Bringing his huge army down here, man. Let's jump to 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. <laughs> and his name is called the word of God. The word of Yahweh. Right, Yahweh Shah, man. A vesture dipped in blood. Why? Because he gonna make war. Okay, talks about who shall lead men to eat him. All right, his garment gonna be like the wine press. Okay, verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. 
and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it it shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, Yahweh. Verse 16, And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Right, so he's going to show him the power, man. <laughs> I'm the king of kings. I'm the Lord of lords, man. I'm the judge of the earth. <laughs> he's going to show it in high fashion, man. Okay, in glory and in power and strength. Okay, with hundreds and hundreds of millions and millions and millions and trillions of angels, man, that's going to flood the earth. How is that not scary, man? That is scary, man. So you better make sure that you are on the right side of this. Because when he show his power, man, that's in his heart, he said, vengeance is in my heart. He ain't playing, man. Okay, he been waiting for this. Okay, he been waiting over 2,000 years. So when Yahweh give Yahweh shot of gold, the green light, oh my goodness, man. Him, Michael, the other angels, they coming down here, man, and the energy that is going to bring down here is going to be amazing, man. Okay, it's going to shake the earth just by them coming down here, man. So, hey, with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give my praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kai Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the Elder Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, my that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.